So we've been studying photorealism, which is when you take a picture, a painting, a drawing, and you make it look so real that someone might think it's a photo. Oftentimes the textures are so realistic. Alrighty, second grade. So what we did last time, so listen up if you weren't here, was we got a piece of watercolor paper. I gave you a palette of watercolors that you could keep. We wrote our name on the colors and then we used it to paint random stuff. Now, this random stuff is gonna turn into real stuff. It's going to be um, some different candies, sweets, and we're studying a type of art. Does anyone remember the type of art that we are studying? So yes, we're studying photorealism. Photorealism is when it looks so real, so realistic that it looks like a photo. And we were talking about why would someone wanna do that? Maybe they wanna shock you, maybe they wanna show off, maybe they wanna trick you into thinking that it's real and it takes a lot of time. So we're going to cheat a little bit today and we're, I'm gonna show you some photorealistic techniques that you can use to make your thing, to make things that you create in the future look like they're popping off the page. So if you still need to paint it, go ahead and raise your hand. So those people, you are going to need to get your palette and continue painting. If your paper is dry, that means you are ready to um, start cutting these out and drawing your candies. I'm gonna give you a little bit of demonstration, but let's go ahead and find our assignment for today. If you could go to Art at Home second grade and give me a thumbs up, that would be perfect. All right, now let's go to classwork. You're going to see under assignments, we have week 26, photorealistic candy. And guess what you're gonna do? You're gonna go ahead and open that one, two, three up and then give me a thumbs up. All right, so let's take a look at our agenda today. We are gonna go over this week's info. Then we're gonna take a super fast Kahoot. So we're gonna go over what to do with this. If you still need to paint, don't worry about the Kahoot. I'm just gonna let you get started. And then at the very end of today, you're gonna add a photo to your portfolio. We're gonna go over that. So when we're done with the Kahoot, you guys are gonna spend your time drawing and cutting your candy. If you look on the number one of the one, two, three, I have so many different options for you. And if you press present, it makes it even bigger. Or you know what? You can come up with your own ideas too. Be creative. How can you use the colors? Maybe I want an orange lollipop. And give it a little stick. Just make sure that these are things that you can actually cut out. Of course, I want my ice cream still. And like we said last time, you don't have to worry about details until it's dry. It doesn't make sense to spend all your time painting. As you guys are working on this day, I am gonna be passing back some artwork like your crazy portraits. I'm going to do a couple kind of round scoops. So it looks like, like I have some different color ice cream. I know this looks like crazy ice cream, but you have to imagine that I'm gonna overlap some things. Just some tiny candies. You can put little geometric shapes on it just to make it a little bit more interesting. You can do a little chocolate. You can use the ideas on the computer or you can come up with your own. When you're completed, just go ahead and cut them out. So I've cut out all my pieces. This is where you're going to start using your plate. Hopefully you walked in with a Sharpie and a plate. Go ahead and get that out. What I want you to do is I want you to write your name on the bottom of the plate, not the top, bottom of the plate. So I'm gonna write Mr. Boatfield. And I also need you to write your class code. Your class code is the day of the week plus your grade level, which is two, and then your table number, which is on your table, it's that white number. Go ahead and get your name and class code on it and then we'll move on. You can overlap your shapes. So like I'm gonna put a dot of glue down. Just the dots, all you need. As you guys know, you can turn things over if you're doing ice cream and make it look like it has dimension, like it has shadow, that is 3D. So I'm just gonna keep building this up. Give it some support where I think it needs it, just a little bit more glue. That can look pretty interesting. I'm gonna move this around just a little bit to make it look a little bit taller. Now it looks like I have scoops of different colors of ice cream, yum. You can put this on your plate. Your plate is not that big. And then give it some pressure for about 10 seconds. Overlapping things tend to help. So like if I put this candy and kind of sit it on the side, 
having it go over the ice cream makes it look real, like there's something really there. Maybe it's stuck in the ice cream, I don't know. Something, something. Today is our only day to work on this, but it needs a little something. So I brought something from the grocery store. I brought some plastic silverware. Please don't let me see you poking yourself or poking someone else with this, otherwise I will take it away. You will never be use using the silverware. And maybe you can find a good spot for it. You can put just a little bit of glue. You know what, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue down first, just maybe some couple lines. It's really all you need. It should go. All right. All right, and then let it sit on your table. In fact, we're not even gonna move it off the table until the very end when we know it's all dry. So doesn't that look interesting? Doesn't that look a little bit real? Maybe you can trick someone. You can find all of these candies inside the one, two, three. That is on number one. We're gonna um, go ahead and cl uh, click number two and take a quick round of Kahoot. This shouldn't take very long. And that should leave you the rest of today to work on your amazing photorealistic plates full of stuff. Don't forget to let it dry. If you finish everything today, maybe come see me for an iPad or you can free draw. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed your construction unit today. Let's get started and have some fun. All right, let's go ahead and take a look and see if we can take a picture of what you created. We're gonna find your portfolio. Let's go ahead and swipe up on your screen or you can type in art and find it that way on your computer. Or an easier way that you can do it is go to Art at Home Second Grade and at the very top of Classwork, you can find your portfolio. You can go ahead and open your portfolio somehow and then give me a thumbs up. All right, we're going to scroll down, down, down. Can you believe how far we are scrolling? To our construction unit. You can put it on 31 or 32, I don't care. As long as it's inside of your art portfolio under construction, let's do it. So we're going to go ahead and press insert. Guess what we're gonna press next? Image and then camera. Let me go over that for new people. Insert, image, and then scroll down to camera. And then of course, you're gonna take a picture of whatever you have. Insert when you're done. And voila, you now have a cool picture of some photorealistic art. Isn't that look crazy when you look at it in a photo? Doesn't that look kinda real? I don't know, I'm pretty proud of it. Once you have that, just give me a thumbs up so I can see, and then I will dismiss you. You can close your Chromebook and um, get your items, and then we're going to line up to go. Have a wonderful day, second grade.